When you get started today, you should have your animal from last week. In addition to your animal, um, you should have a square a rectangle that you drew for the background and it should be filled in. So right now that um, square that I have, you don't see because it's completely transparent. If I make it completely solid, you'll see that I have a green square in the background. If I go back in, I want this to be transparent today while I'm working so I can see my animal. Today we're gonna to be using the polyline tool to draw shapes on top of our animal using that photo there as a guide for what colors will go there. The polyline tool is located in the line tools in your toolbar. So the line tool is next to the select tool, which is the arrow. It's next to that shape tool, which is the circle and the square. The line tool, when you start off, probably looks like a line with two little dots on the end. You'll see a very, very small triangle next to the line tool pointing down. You wanna click there, and that's gonna let you choose what kind of line you would use. For this project, we're gonna be using the poly line tool, which is the second one from the bottom. Once you select that, you can begin drawing with this tool. This tool um, works in a little bit different way than other things you may have used. So you probably want to practice on the edge of your drawing first. You may want to practice with this polyline tool on the side. How it works is that you're going to be clicking and clicking and dragging to draw a line, clicking and dragging to draw the next line, and then clicking and dragging to close up that shape. Once you've closed that shape, you're gonna see that it automatically fills. You can go up to that paint bucket and then change what color you want that to be. Um, after you're done practicing on the edge there, you just simply go to the um, undo and you can go back and undo what you've done. You're gonna be drawing shapes on top of your animal um, photograph. And these shapes should not overlap. They should be very, very close to each other. And you do have to close the shape for it to fill in. This um, drawing tool, uh, to me, it kind of feels a little bit like a spider web. It's very sticky. And when I was first learning how to do this, one of the mistakes that I would make is that sometimes I would get into a situation where I, this happening to me, where the tool was following me around and I just wanted to delete what I was doing. You have to close that shape up and then you can go back and undo and delete it. But if that happens to you, you'll wanna know how to get out of that sticky situation. Um, continue drawing and following the color pattern that you see on your animal. So you can see right now I'm using the dark gray to fill things in. When I get into other parts of the raccoon, I will switch and use different colors. It is best to use different shapes as well as different sizes of um, the shapes to make it more interesting to look at. And it's very important that you follow along the pattern of where the colors are on your animal so that when you're finished, you're able to tell what your animal is. Smaller areas, like the area I'm working in now, are gonna have smaller shapes needed to fill that in. Um, one way that you can bring shapes closer together if you realize you make a mistake is you can go to the arrow tool and you can slide them and kind of drag them um, closer together if you realize that they could have been a little closer than what you drew them. We don't want them touching though, so that's a little bit tricky. You'll continue doing this pattern until your entire animal is filled in. We're gonna be doing this for two classes, so please stick with it and know that you will have um, a half hour next week in addition to any class time that remains today to work.
Once you've filled in all the shapes um, that you can see the animal is covered up, we want you to select just the animal photo. So I'm gonna take that square from my background color that I'd laid down before, go and select just that photo. I know this photo is selected because I can see those little blue squares on each corner. Those are called handles. When you see those blue handles, you're just gonna press delete and that's gonna delete the photo that you had um, laid down there. And you're gonna put your transparent box back in you go back to custom and reverse the transparency so now your image has a solid background. Um, you can look at that color and decide if you like it. One color that really seems to make a lot of the animals pop is using black. So there's a lot of contrast to um, the animals. I think I'm gonna leave mine like that. If for some reason you make a mistake and you don't like something, even you wanna get that animal picture back, you can see I'm doing the undo button and you can go back to where you had that photo um, back in there so that you could finish anything if it didn't turn out right.